In this video, I'm going to explain you how you can fix the errors in JavaScript. So there are two uh, main errors uh, that you can see. Unexpected identifier. Identifier. And other error you might uh, get is unexpected token. So both these errors are encountered most probably because of node version. Right now you can see I'm using node version 0 that is the first version of node and I'm using some features here in this code that were not supported in that particular version of node. So first version of node didn't support lit because that was added in 2015 of ECMAScript specification. So that is the latest feature or the new feature you can see and uh, this node version was released way back before 2015. So this version of node don't know about late, okay? And also the function default parameters. So this feature is also added later on. It was not in the version zero of node. And if you try to use this particular code and with this node version that is zero, then what will happen is it will give you a lot of errors. So let us try to run this code on the version zero of node. And you can see there is an error let x is equal to function so here it is giving the error at this point of time syntax error is saying unexpected identifier because it doesn't know about late now if you run this code in a latest version of node it will work so i'm gonna use latest version of node here and we use say 15. now i'm on the node version 15 now if I want to run this code, you can see it is running and it is giving me the output as well. So it is working basically, it is not throwing any syntax errors or anything. But if you switch back to old version of node, and now if you run it, it will throw the error. So as you can see it is throwing error. So basically if you want to use the older version of node, you will have to use the syntax that is compatible with that version of node. So here late will not be acceptable. You can use fair instead because fair was has been in the use since ages. So fair it, it will uh, node version will be happy with the fair. So let us execute this now. So now it is saying unexpected token. So unexpected identifier, that's, that error is fixed, but it is now saying unexpected token is equal to. So you can see this default value for this parameter. This particular feature is not available in this version of node and that's why this unexpected token error is coming. So these errors might, uh, you might encounter these errors depending upon what version of node you're using and what kind of syntax you're using if that syntax is not compatible with your version that you're using uh, the node version that you're using then definitely uh, these errors will come so to avoid these errors what i would recommend is always use the latest version of node.js always use the latest version of node.js because latest features are available in latest version of node.js and it will not throw the syntax errors because node.js the latest version of node.js will know all the syntaxes new features etc and then we, you should be able to run your code without any issues